So the exhibition at Kindle is entitled Voices Without Borders. It presents the intimate friendship and artistic relationship between two Lebanese female artists, Simon Fatal and Etel Adnan. Etel and Simon are really a bridge to different culture because of their personal life, their family, their history that has been shaped by wars. And they are really voices without borders because they've lived in America, they've lived in France, they've lived in Lebanon, they've traveled the world. And they are, I think, artists that are offering a broad vision as world citizen. The exhibition focuses on the literary aspect, which was the cement of their friendship. So this is why you start with the first section of a show describing post-Apollo project. And it's also connected to this idea of uh, the space age in which we are after obviously Neil Armstrong setting foot uh, on the moon. It changed our perspective and also both of them have also connected it to our awareness or non-awareness of discarding the planet and the pollution. We are in need of re-evaluating the beauty of nature and celebrating it and protecting it. And then you have two films that are offering uh, I would say a window, a sort of intimacy and understanding better, I would say, the, 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 the questioning and the way they approach art, literature, and connect it to real life, what it meant. Alors, il y avait le ciel bleu clair, les montagnes bleu foncé, le sable orange. C'était une peinture abstraite superbe. And then you have this kind of, I would say, timeline that is not a linear timeline, but it's more like a sort of musical arabesque timeline that is sort of connected with mythology and how Simon in her practice has been so interested in revisiting myth and also with the Arab apocalypse. Obviously, it's connected to uh, the Lebanon war, but even it starts before with the Egyptians. So you have this kind of trajectory in what we call the Middle East or the Mediter around the Mediterranean Sea. Shamsun Thafra, Shamsun Meshunatu, Shamsun Hadia. And then you have something maybe like a little bit more poetic celebrating the beauty of nature in simple things with different media. Tapestry weaving, drawings, paintings, ceramics of clouds, mountains, celebrating the beauty and the shape of colors that are also a way of alluding to a bigger history that is an international, I would say, language. It's not a retrospective, it's not a survey, it is a journey. And we want, with this show, to embark the public in that journey of curiosity and generosity. <laughs>